Here's an example where we take out a common factor that's not a single variable, but it's a bracket um, with several terms inside. So here we have 15 2z plus 1 cubed plus 10 2z plus 1 squared minus 25 2z plus 1. So we can see that 2z plus 1 is our common factor as well as the 5 that is the common factor from the 15, 10, and 25. We don't have a negative up front so we don't need to take that out. Now what's left inside? Well we need a 3 because 5 times 3 is 15 and then we need 2z plus 1 squared because 2z plus 1 squared times 2z plus 1 will give us 2z plus 1 cubed plus 5 times 2 gives us 10 and then 2z plus 1 to the power of 1 because 2z plus 1 times 2z plus 1 is 2z plus 1 squared and then negative 5 and now the 2z plus 1 is factored out. So now we've got that factored, but this one bracket is not simplified, so we need to continue and simplify it. So the great, greatest common factor stays up front, and then we need to simplify this. Now remember, very important point here is that when you have a bracket squared, you don't just square both terms, you actually have to multiply it out. So you can either use the perfect square uh, formula to multiply that out, or you can just base it back on the roots of it. 2z plus 1 times 2z plus 1 is what you are doing. So, When we multiply out 2z plus 1 by 2z plus 1 by multiplying all terms and combining everything, or by using the perfect square trinomial formula, you'll get 4z squared plus 4z plus 1. And the rest you also need to distribute 4z plus 2 minus 5. Okay, we need to continue writing that out. So the 3 still needs to multiply by all of these terms here, which gives us 12z squared plus 12z plus 3 plus 4z plus 2 minus 5. Now, are, do we have any like terms that we can combine? Yes, we do. The 12z squared is on its own, but the 12z and the 4z become 16z, and the 3 and the 2 minus the 5 are eliminated because they equal 0. So now we're left with something that actually can still be factored. So is there a greatest common factor for these two uh, terms? Well, yes, there is. There's z and Four. So that means we're, uh, we're going to keep these greatest common factors, but out from these, you still can get a 4 along with this 5 and a z. And everything's going to just multiply up front here. So we're going to combine those in a second. So if we took out a 4z from this interior term here, we're going to be left with 3z plus 4. So that leaves us with 20z times 2z plus 1 times 3z plus 4. And now that is completely factored. You know when something is completely factored when you can't factor any of your uh, factors any further. And so you can look at it as also that all the pluses and minuses are contained in brackets and it cannot be broken down any further. Let's take a look at another example so that we can see what happens uh, in another case. So here we've got a negative up front 
Usually when you have a negative in your first term, we like to take it out as a common factor, which is going to change all of our signs in all three of our terms here. So the other greatest common factor we have between 5, 10, and 15 is 5, as well as the m plus p to the power of 2, because 2 is the lowest exponent on that variable term. So we've got m plus p squared is our greatest common factor. So inside, we've got, so negative 5 came out, and then now we've got just m plus p to the power of 1, because m plus p to the power of 1 times m plus p to the power of 2 is going to give us m plus p to the power of 3. The second term now is going to be negative, because we took out this negative, so all these signs are going to change. And also we have 2, so then now we have 2 times, and we've taken out the m plus p squared. So that's just times 1, so that's it. And then the last term is also going to be negative, and it's going to be 3 times m plus p to the power of 2, because the power of 2 times to the power of 2 gives us to the power of 4. All right, now we've got this interior uh, leftover bit that we need to clean up. So let's take that a bit further. So anytime you have a square or a cube or um, any power on a bracket, you need to expand by multiplying two of the terms at a time or using one of the formulas for that expansion. The formulas directly come from the expansion itself, so you can always backtrack and use uh, just plain writing it out with uh, two brackets. So we've got m plus p, nothing needs to be changed there, minus 2, that's good. Now you be really careful here because you don't want to multiply in the negative 3 because exponents go before multiplication. So this is negative 3 times m plus p times m plus p if you want to write it out. However, you can also just go straight to this next step if you're comfortable with the trinomial formula. So you'll know that m plus p all squared is going to be m squared plus 2mp plus p squared. For the trinomial formula, you can look at special factoring techniques or special formulas for expanding uh, polynomials. So we've got that, and let's keep going here. m plus p minus 2. Now the negative 3 can go in. Remember, you can only multiply two terms at a time. So you can multiply the 3 in first here, and then multiply by this other bracket, or you can multiply the two brackets first and then multiply the 3 in. But you cannot do the 3 and multiply it into everything, for example. Okay, so we're going to have negative 3m squared plus negative, because negative times positive is negative, 6mp, and negative 3 times p squared is negative 3p squared. Okay, so now we don't have any like terms here, so this is done because nothing else can be done with it. You could rearrange these terms if you would like to, but um, in this case there's no set uh, way of writing this because it's not in one variable, so you can't really go with decreasing exponential order. So you would just leave it at that, and that's completely factored because there is nothing else you can do with any of these brackets.